Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to talk to you about ActorCore, which is a motion library made by Reillusion. So what you can do is get these motions and attach it to iClone characters. Now, I'm going to be using this quite heavily in my web series and a few other projects that are coming over on Deadset Digital. So I've rebranded Markham 3D Studios to Deadset Digital. So if you haven't already, go check that out. But let's kind of go through how to use it, what it looks like, and some pretty cool features. Let's go. So here we are on the front page of Actor Core. Let's just jump into the motion shop and you can see how gorgeous these animations are. But what I really like are the packs. I'm just gonna click on packs and we're here we can see that I've already got a few of the packs. But let me just show you quickly a really cool feature that they've been working on and I'm very glad that they've done this. Let's come into the Assassin's Move. So I'm gonna click on this. And even if we click on the eye, we can actually view all the motions that they've got and some gorgeous motions here that you could probably string together. But the really cool feature is this click here to view the motion diagram. What this is, is it shows which animations can connect to make a fluent animation. Absolutely brilliant. This kind of reminds me of Unreal Engine when you've got the character motions, because obviously you can't go from an archery straight to a sneak walk slow end. That doesn't make any sense, but you can follow this chart to have some really nice, wonderful animations. Now, we've also got a whole bunch of free ones, which I might pick up right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this uh, office work working because I'm gonna be using that for a few short films coming up. So I'm just gonna click add to cart. There we go, we've picked it up. Now I'm gonna jump over into iClone. From here, I've imported my Markham 3D character or Marco character myself for some reason. I just like this character that I've created. I come up here into Smart Gallery. We can select animation. And so here I haven't downloaded the Assassin Moves, um, iClone 7 Motion Pack, the working one. So this is the one we just picked up. So let's just double click on it and let it download. And from here, we can see that it's now finished downloading. Let's go into content, select the animation section up the top here and let's find it. And we'll just expand this a little bit. Office worker, here we go. Collaboration, let's just click on this and then we can actually see our icons. And then we can see our list of animations that we have. Talk over the desk, we just click and drag and place it on our character. And then we can see down here, we can see the timeline. So 850 frames, 880. Let's go back and, hmm. Oh yes, I see the problem. See this problem right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you gotta be looking into. Oh yeah, yeah, I completely agree. It's the computer's fault. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Some of the animations in this animation pack aren't really looping. So for instance, if I throw talk back on, and we kind of line it up again and we press play. You can see kind of the poses at the end are not the same as the front. So what we can do is actually kind of like overlap it a little bit. And this area down the bottom, we can click and drag just to expand it. And when I press play, you can see that it kind of just slowly sm slides back into position then goes back into it again. All right, I did see you just tried that, it didn't work. Hmm, I don't, I don't, but look, this is just IT magic. That's all it is. Yeah, you get it? <laughs> so now I've grabbed a few of the animations from the Assassin's Pack and kind of stringed them together. So you can go lining up some of these animations. This is the Stand Idol. Then we go into Stand Idol Crouch. And then we go into a Crouch Idol. From here, we go off into a Crouch Walk Slow. That's pretty cool. And obviously the way we export it is just like we have been. I've got a longer video on how to do all this. Export, we can either go into Unreal Engine or we can go straight into Blender. Make sure you select the frame range of the animation and export it like that. So from here, we jump over into Blender. Let's delete that default cube. We go File, Import, FBX. Now go to the location where we saved our file and I called it Sneaky Sneaky Walk. And let's go Import. We can see that the animation is about 330 odd frames. So let's just increase the size. There we go. And now if we press play, we can see he's chillaxing a little bit. And then he kind of goes into his little sneaky pose. There we go, into his crouch. And then off he begins walking. <laughs> 
So there we go. That is actor core. I can't wait for all the other line breaks that are going to be coming out. I am pumped. I'm excited. This web series is going to be good. If you haven't already subscribed. <laughs>